really a very special time. This Labor Day holiday saw both President Donald Trump and Democratic presidential nominee Joe Biden make public appearances with less than 60 days to go until the November 3rd election. Trump held a news conference at the White House Monday afternoon where he took fresh swipes at his rival, calling him stupid. Trailing in national opinion polls as the U.S. death toll from the virus approaches 190,000, Trump unleashed a broad attack against Biden and running mate U.S. Senator Kamala Harris, who said they would not take a rushed COVID-19 vaccine purely on Trump's word. Uh, Biden and his very liberal running mate, the most liberal person in Congress, by the way, is not a competent person, in my opinion, would destroy this country and would destroy this economy, should immediately apologize for the reckless anti-vaccine rhetoric that they are talking right now, talking about endangering lives, and it undermines science. A vaccine has yet to be approved. At the event, Trump again dismissed a report in The Atlantic that he had referred to fallen U.S. soldiers as, quote, suckers and losers. And in rambling remarks, hailed the U.S. labor market's recovery from the pandemic-fueled recession. Biden, meanwhile, spent his Labor Day in Pennsylvania, kicking off a flurry of travel to battleground states this week. During a visit to a home in Lancaster, he met with union workers who also served in the U.S. military. Biden took the opportunity to attack Trump over the comments he reportedly made disparaging fallen soldiers. You, uh, do you think most of those guys are, and women are suckers? <laughs> no. The campaign heats up this week, with Trump traveling to North Carolina, Florida, Michigan, and Pennsylvania. Biden is looking to expand his lead in the polls, eyeing 16 states that could be up for grabs in November pointing to voter doubts over Trump's coronavirus response and the battered economy. 